Welcome to our video on students' needs when learning in an EMI course. In this video, we'll discuss areas where students will need extra support for your EMI course. Why do we need to think about student needs when they are learning content in a second language? Well, this relates to the purpose of EMI courses. We want students to be able to use English in their own careers and also learn content in English. They will need our help. But as instructors, we have limited time and can't spend all of class time teaching them only English. We also can't ignore the fact that they are learning in a second language. Students can't succeed in EMI courses having only basic English. They will need to be able to understand and communicate in English within the field and the courses they're taking. So let's start by talking a bit about what types of language support students will need in order to learn content in English. Pause the video now and write down at least four areas where you think students will need your support. When you're done, press play and we can, you can compare your notes to mine. Welcome back. I'll talk briefly about five areas students need extra support with when it comes to EMI. Then in this course, we'll explore these ideas in more depth. The first is with vocabulary, particularly key terms in your field or English words related to learning and studying. Students might understand general English meanings of words, but not the specific meaning for your field. Another area is grammar. Not grammar for passing tests or doing worksheets, but grammar for understanding. For example, if your students will be writing or reading papers for research, then they need to understand how to use the passive voice. They'll also need to know that the simple present tense is common in science as well. So grammar has to be useful for them depending on the course and the content. Reading skills are always a challenge in EMI courses since so much reading is necessary. Here we're focusing on students being able to find main ideas, read quickly in English, or skim and scam for information. A fourth area is listening skills. For example, your students will need to be able to identify main ideas when you're lecturing versus details that you offer. They should be able to write the main ideas in their notes and maybe skip the details they don't need to remember later. And finally, speaking skills. These include answering questions, discussing ideas, teamwork skills, or intercultural communication. So what about writing? Well, that depends on your course. In some departments, students will write papers or tests in English, while in others, they won't. So consider if your students will need to write in English in their future jobs. Okay, that concludes this video. We looked at what types of needs students will have when they learn content in a second language. And as an EMI lecturer, you'll need to become very aware of how language works and the things you can do to support your students. Thanks for watching.